Hi, I'm Glenn, City of Allen Fisher Field Team, COA of Field Team. In this round, we're talking about the nail knot tying tool, specifically the infographic that we had shown the other day concerning uh, our connections to fly leader to fly line. And we were showing the nail knot variant. And in that, you use a nail knot tying tool. And so uh, we kind of demoed it in the last round, but I think we can do a little bit better with one of our old videos from way back when where we're showing the nail knot uh, tying tool and creating a strike indicator or line strike indicator. So uh, pay attention to the video. It'll show some really good detail on how to use that nail knot tying tool and how um, we would attach it from a, a nail knot uh, to fly leader to uh, fly line connection. So this will be a pre-recorded session that uh, we'll be demoing this. And while we're doing that, we'll be live simulcast with a Q&A session uh, and so um, using a live chat. So uh, yours truly be answering any questions, saying howdy via the chat function of uh, YouTube uh, while we demo or while we show this pre-recorded video. All right, so do stay tuned. And if you have any questions, do reach out while we chat with you. All right, uh, glad you all could join us today. We're going to talk about the tie fast uh, nail knot tying tool. And this is it right here. And what we use it for is, is to tie a line strike indicator um, in lieu of uh, using a strike indicator or your traditional strike indicator. What we've done is, is we've wrapped the uh, line about four or five times around the uh, uh, end of the tool and then we've run this line through those loops. And now we're just kind of cinching up on it. And then what we'll do is we'll take the fly line, run it through, and then the front end here. And then the important part is to make sure you do this quickly and pull, um, keeping a good uh, handle or tension on this side of the line. And you just pull. And there you go. <clears throat> now, we haven't tightened it all the way. You still have a ability to move it up and down the uh, fly line uh, but once you do have it in place before you uh, tighten down on it tighten on the uh, Dacron fly line backing first and then you can come back and tighten on the Dacron backing uh, fly line backing and then the fly line itself and there you have it and all you do is then is trim off the excess and you'll have your first part of the line strike indicator. The next thing we'll do is, is we'll cut about a uh, length, about, about a foot long to about a foot and a half long of that fly line backing. And we'll go ahead and trim up the uh, ends. And then what we'll do is we'll tie a perfection loop. And that will be, that will be our loop to loop connection for our line strike indicator. cinch that up and there we go the end result is the line strike indicator made of that uh, Dacron fly line backing attached with a nail knot to your fly line and then a perfection loop that will provide the loop-to-loop uh, -loop connection that uh, you'll use to attach to your leader itself put some line dressing here and what you can do is it'll sit on top of the water and as it sits on top of the water you can notice any movement twitches whatnot I'd like to demonstrate uh, how we're using the line strike indicator that uh, we showed earlier. Uh, it's just a piece of uh, Cabela's fly line backing, Dacron line, about 20 pound test. We've got a nail knot on this end and we've got a perfection loop on this end and then a loop to loop connection to our leader. And we've also uh, applied a little uh, line dressing to it. And you can see that uh, the indicator floats on the top the water and we can watch it and pay attention to it and treat it just like a normal indicator for us. Also we noticed a number of YouTube videos that are available that show how to use the nail knot tying tool. And, uh, we're going to tie this on to the tip of our fly line. The first Portland thing... Portland tie fast knot tire to tie a nail knot. Take the thick end of your... and hold the wrap securely with your forefinger. We also found the YouTube video showing how to tie the perfection loop. Put 
there's a quick and easy perfection loop for using in the end of your leaders. I can give you an idea why we like having that uh, tying tool on us. Okay, it's uh, January 25th, Saturday morning, and we're finally in a little bit, I think we're almost over this cold. Still got a little cough here or there, but uh, <coughs> today we're going to go ahead to Dallas, to Carruth Park. They stocked it with trout on the 22nd, so about three days ago. And this round we're just going to bring spinning gear so we can do that demo of how we do um, that trout fishing strategy with spinning gear. So we've got uh, two rods with us, and hopefully we can show you what we can uh, accomplish using that strategy. <coughs> well, we still got the cough, but we got Krispy Kreme also. We've got the uh, chocolate as well as the original glaze, fresh, hot, off the uh, little oven. And we've got a deal of coffee, Krispy Kreme coffee. So um, if we're still coughing, hopefully this will knock out a little bit of it. All right, wish us luck.